Hi guys, it's Lena. Welcome to my channel. If you read the title of the video, you'll know that I've started a series. It's called 10 Days of Sketches with Lena. And I wanted to create a series that, you know, inspired or helped um, scrappers. So I, I know that a lot of new scrapbookers are intimidated by gluing things down and making things permanent. Um, but I, or, you know, having their ideas down on paper, or maybe they're not sure where to go with their layouts. Um, but I just wanted to, um, show that if you follow a sketch, um, that things don't have to be so complicated. And until you get comfortable with yourself and with your work and get to know your style, um, you know, a sketch will do just fine. And that's not to say that sketches are only for newbies. Sketch, sketches could also be for um, people who are, are feeling lost or uninspired or need that or need that boost of creativity or they need just some inspo. Um, and I know for myself, I use sketches or I use Pinterest a lot when I'm I'm feeling like my mojo tank is on empty. <laughs> so I'll scroll through Pinterest or I'll search things and, you know, until an idea comes to me. Or I may take something that I really like visually from um, a sketch and kind of make it my own and interpret it and kind of change things around and, you know, make it my own really. So for this series, there'll be 10 videos. Um, I hope you'll stick around and watch all of them. Um, for this particular sketch here, I chose this from Pinterest and it's, it's from Page Drafts and I really like their work. Um, and so uh, this is the first one. And the collection that I'm gonna use is from Pink Paisley and it's C'est La Vie and it's about a million years old, but I still love it. <laughs> so goal for 2018, use what you got, right? So that's happening. And here we are with the series. So I hope you guys will continue to watch. I'm gonna put you on fast forward now. Um, if you have any questions or comments or something you'd like to see, please ask me this in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye. Hey everyone, so now we're on fast forward. We're in the quicker mode. Um, and so I'm using the collection uh, C'est La Vie from Pink Paisley. I think I mentioned that in my intro. And I am happy that I actually use this collection. <laughs> so uh, it's been sitting in my stash in my, you know, where I keep my layouts for a good while, like two or three years whenever this collection came out. And um, I think finally I'm done with it and I've used it up. So I had a couple papers left. And um, actually, let me start by saying that I actually uh, keep my papers uh, by collection now. And I've been doing that for the past um, year or two. Um, and so uh, now instead of it being bagged together with the rest of the components from the kit, it's been broken up. And so the uh, die cut ephemera is gone. So I've uh, purged that and put it in my donate box because there's nothing really left for me to work with. I kept the two tags that were left um, and the alpha letters, um, I use those to bits. There's like no more uh, vowels. It's just like strange consonant <laughs> consonants left. And um, yeah, so I purged that as well. The few papers that I had less left have been put in the, um, like in my box where I keep uh, single sheets of paper that I buy uh, when it's not by collection. And that's it. I've used the collection up. You believe that? I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> so following the sketch, I've got all my papers matted. And I really like the overall look of it. I really like the yellow border that surrounds everything. Um, it really adds that pop of definition, I feel. And the matting here, I really enjoy as well. Now you can see that on the sketch that I have there to the right, the photo is actually round. So round photos are not my jam. 
Um, I'm very linear in my style. I'm very linear in the way I think. Um, I'm very linear in the way I see things and process things. So a round photo was not going to work for me. That could be a video for another time of thinking outside the box, but for today it wasn't happening. <laughs> so I kept my photo square and that's okay. I want to let you know that for those of you who are a little uncomfortable with you know, scrapbooking as a whole, you want to get into it, but you're kind of like feel the restrictions, don't. If something is round and you want to make it square, do it. If there's a butterfly embellishment and you don't have a butterfly embellishment, and but you have, you know, a rainbow or whatever it is, a star, switch it out. It's really going to be okay. <laughs> and I know it sounds like I'm making fun, but I'm seriously not. I remember when I first started scrapbooking, I felt so intimidated. I knew that I wanted to do it and I wanted to take part and I wanted to create, but I just felt limited. I don't know if it was by my own ideas or my own um, experience. I just felt limited. So I'm here to tell you that it's okay. If your photo is round and you want to make it round, that's great. If you only work with square photos, that's okay. If you only work with four by sixes, that's okay. If you want to add a multitude of photos, that's okay too. Do what makes you happy. Do what you do. Just get it scrapped. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> so that was my rant. <laughs> it's not really a rant. It's just a piece of advice. Just go ahead and do it. So the sketch calls for banners. And I have not used a banner in God knows how long. Um, I remember that I used to use banners all the time, but I've kind of gone away from that. And I was happy that this sketch had banners because not only are they cute, hi, banners, I don't think they'll ever go out of style, but it added filler to my page, right? So in the sketch that, I don't know why I did it, but I removed it from the screen. Um, but it did not call for any frames. It just called for, um, you know, the simple embellishing that was on the sides of the photo. Now, because I had cut these banners out of six by six, they were a little short. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna add a piece of paper uh, behind my photo that's large, that's going to hide um, the banners. Well, hide the, I'm going to call them the missing length of the banners. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did. Also, this is where I added a bit of a zhuzh for myself with my own style. I really enjoy adding frames. Um, and so this yellow frame needed to be used because why not? I knew that I was going to be almost done with this collection. And so I wanted to get it used up and, you know, get things down on paper, enough hoarding. I'm done with it, enough hoarding. I'm gonna be using all my stuff, enough hoarding. Um, and so um, that's where I added my spin. So you'll see that there, there's that yellow frame. That's a Lena thing, right? Lena loves frames. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gluing down the uh, banner, the pennant banner tails here. Um, some of them I stuck in front of the paper there and some of them I tucked in between. It just depended on what I was um, what I was feeling. I just felt like some of them looked better tucked behind and really no one's going to be able to tell once I get my embellishing on. So I'm, I just showed you now that I was going to work on my embellishing and I quickly realized that this leftover collection, this... <laughs> did not have enough for me to embellish Lena style. And those of you who follow me know exactly what that means. That means that um, there wasn't just enough pieces to embellish, you know, the way that I like to embellish. I embellish heavily on my layouts. So I used the pieces that I could. Um, I who and hawed a little bit, kind of, you know, shopped around pieces, tried to find what fit, what didn't fit. I didn't have the best luck, but I decided to move on and start on my title. So the title in the sketch is above the photo with a large embellishment. And this is also where I changed things up. So here I'm having, I'm, you know, performing surgery on my thickers. So I want my, I, this, this collection pack is from Pebbles and it's the, uh, I want to call it Girl Squad, 
collection, something along those lines. And it, because both of my girls are in the picture, I needed an S at the end of that girl. So I just cut an S from one of the words that I knew I wasn't going to use. I probably most likely, well now I can't, um, use the hashtag thickers and um, I just, I made it work, right? So I borrowed that S and um, made it my own. So now it reads happy girls. And so the, um, the chipboard, you'll see in a minute, I'm going to add it to that title. So it doesn't just read happy girls, it'll read as something else. So now, because I know that the ephemera was limited in what I had left in this collection, I didn't have a lot left, um, but I used what I, what worked for me. Um, and I had these die cuts sitting on my desk. I believe that these ones here are from Paper Issues, and they're just cut out of um, white cardstock. They're nothing, uh, they're not on paper, pattern paper, they're just plain white. And I like to cut things out of white so that I can tuck them in and around different layouts if I need to. Um, I always have some cuts waiting to be used and ready on my desk. Um, and so when I do cut things out, I cut extras, if that makes sense, because I know that I'd like to add to the bin that's on my desk and should I need to reach for them, they're already ready and I don't have to you know, cut out the file and you know, all that stuff. It's just a lot less work. So I've added these florals, you can see, but I'm still feeling like they're not enough. Do you see I'm, I'm trying to make things work and things are not really working to me. So I said, you know what, let me get up. I need to get up, walk around. I was even contemplating of cutting out florals from the pattern paper. But I was not in a fussy cutting mood when creating this. You know, sometimes you are and, you know, you're willing to dedicate that 15-20 minutes that it may take to cut out a whole bunch of, you know, um, florals. But today was not the day. <laughs> I had limited time and I knew that I had to go and pick up my meatballs uh, from school and from the sitter. And so, you know, and really I didn't want to. So, and that's okay. Um... So I, I realized that these florals are not enough. What I had left in the collection was not enough and um, I had to make it mine. So you'll see now that I start incorporating um, other manufacturers into the mix. So I don't just stick with the Pebbles collection, which I've been doing lately. Before when I started originally scrapbooking, Things were, you know, from here, things were from there. Um, I didn't, it's like I made my own kits, but not purposely. I just pulled things that I wanted to use and, um, you know, went that route. But I don't do that. Well, I haven't been doing that anymore. And I've really been sticking to one collection at a time, but I'm really liking pulling things. And that's how things in your stash get used. Let's be serious now, right? So these are the chipboard alphas from the collection. And so, those were the letters that I had left. They weren't anything interesting. So I'm sorry that I'm out of frame here. I apologize. I didn't realize it because I had placed the letters at the bottom of my layout so I could see visually what I had to work with. And so when I started gluing things down, I forgot to pull things. I forgot to pull my layout down. So I apologize for that. So what I also end up doing is pulling an A and a J. And actually, that's not even a real A. <laughs> it's an upside down V. Uh, but I needed to make an A for my daughter's name. Uh, well, one of my daughter's name. And then I put a J on the other side. So one is A, one is J. Very easy. Um, yeah. So you'll see now that I go and grab um, ephemera. I think that's what I'm doing here. And so I pull out uh, an extra package that I had from the Maggie Holmes um, open book collection. So do you remember all those florals? Yes. So that's what I used. And also I want to mention that my title now is My Two Happy Girls because they're both smiling in this photo. This was taken at Niagara Falls this past summer and they both sat on that huge chair that's at Guinness World Records. Um, well outside of Guinness World Records and I think that chair was Robert Wadlow's. I don't know why I still remember this information. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, oh, I keep saying 
um a lot lately, right? Have you guys noticed that? I have times where I don't say it as much and then times where I just keep saying um, um, um. It's like I can't gather my thoughts. <laughs> so here, here go the here go the florals this is what made me happy um, is when I finally decided to let go of just using the pink paisley and incorporate something else so the layout of, it's I'm sorry the sketch itself calls for embellishing on the top right which is a smaller cluster of embellishing um, and then a larger cluster on the on the left side of the photo itself so I create my two clusters, I add the information, the information, I add the ephemera and I make them look like I would. So um, you guys know the way I feel about embellishing my things, my layouts are pretty heavily embellished. I say that a lot. Um, and I'm sorry again, guys, I'm out of frame. I, I do end up pulling down the layout. There I go. Um, so yeah, I added more flowers at the top. And I feel like that finishes off my the top of the layout. I'm also going to look here. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, Lena. Um, I'm grabbing my Tim Holtz. Well, I'm looking for my Tim Holtz. Um, I think it's called small talk or chit chat or something like that. Those words. Because um, I know I wanted the small words, but I didn't type anything out on my computer. And I, again, was too lazy to do so. <laughs> so these came in extremely handy. And I'm sure that that collection has small words as well. I just, these are the ones I pulled and that's fine with me. And so I'm gluing down the ones that work best. These ones are the occasion ones, but I didn't use the ones that were geared towards any sort of occasion or season or summer or whatnot. I just pulled things like I love you, um, me and you, referring to, you know, the two sisters. Um, I don't know, just really inspirational words for my girls to grow up and listen to and uh, live by, I guess, in a way. <laughs> and I decided that that bottom left corner needed a bit more love and the, um, embellish the embellishing needed to come down just a little bit. So this is it for my layout, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys will continue to watch my series. Um, I'm loving creating the layouts. I love this whole idea of not being intimidated and being, it's okay to use a sketch, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the second installment. Hopefully the second one isn't as long. Um, that first one I needed to get the intro done and so therefore it's longer. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Love you. Bye.